So this looks like a good spot to set up a colony of tiny robot ants. First things first, we need to get their queen set up somewhere. So let's just have her go right over here. And then she just calmly buzzes in somewhere. There she is. Look at that. Her wings are like microchips. And she's got little ants on her back. And they're all ready to get to work. We just guide this little guy over here to collect some scrap iron so that he can bring it over to a stockpile right here. And with that scrap in the stockpile, we can do things with it. But we want him to do it repeatedly. So let's get a path going from here to here. Here, and then around so he'll just work endlessly collecting scrap to use for our other needs and then we'll just get these other ants doing the same thing there we're collecting a lot of scrap very quickly but these four ants aren't going to do everything by themselves so we're gonna need an incubator and we'll get that going right behind the queen here Whoa, all the scrap goes to build it perfect oh and the queen is making some larvas already wow so we're gonna need an ant to go and collect that to bring it into the incubator. And I think that'll just be your sole job. And the incubator is working and it's filling up this weird little it's sack morning, thing. Everyone. And look at that, there's a tiny ant that popped out. A small worker ant. And the queen needs more energy to make more things. So there's a lot of energy over here. So we might as well just get this little guy to work collecting the energy from there and then bringing it back to the queen. That seems like a good path. We'll just send this point deep into the shrubs so that it can stop by a few things in case one plant doesn't have it. Go on and feed your queen, little worker. Very good. And the queen is going to need a constant supply of food to stay fed because we need to keep our maximum population up. And this poor little worker isn't really doing much, just holding a larva the whole time. Oh, but the larva is so cute though. Look at that little face. <laughs> He's just happy to be there. But let's set up another incubator right over here because we have the means to do that and then we can tell this guy to stop over here so if one incubator is full the next one will be available and now we can set up a better means for the nutrient supply we'll get a stockpile going right over here and then we can get a dispenser set up next to the queen and then we can also reevaluate the path here so these guys are just going to spend a lot of time digging through these bushes here meanwhile only a few ants are going to need to supply the queen that could be your job and then you We'll help your friend over here gather some things that seems to be working pretty well it gets collected there and then over here it gets collected for the queen excellent and we do need to expand our business so let's get a smelter set up probably somewhere over here next to all of this scrap iron here oh also these ants have stopped collecting it that's a problem thankfully that is easily fixed because there's a lot of piles that'll go right over here Perfect. And we are at maximum population. Oh, no. But once the queen gets fed to stage two, then it'll increase. So these guys are really going to need to work for it. And they also have limited energy. Oh, but we do have two more available here. So let's send them over to that job, passing them through all of this because they can't just go through something. Oh, no, the little... The small worker is dead. Oh no, he ran out of energy. That's so tragic. There's probably ones dying over here that I don't even see anymore as well. But at least we have a small worker that's ready to fill in the spot of the last guy. And now we have a smelter set up. So we can get a stockpile for the iron blocks. And then we get a dispenser for the scrap iron so we can path from the stockpile to the smelter and then to the other stockpile for the iron bars or the ingots things and then that could be your job there we go picks it up it smelts and it, he waits for it to smelt and then it gets delivered perfect that's working really good although it might be a better idea to have one of these sentries that have infinite energy be one of the ones responsible for the energy collection. Ooh, but they're already collecting a lot of it there. I like that. So we'll have both of those sentries come over here and then the small workers can go do their job. Oh, but this one's about to expire. I think we'll just let him live out his last days. Also, I found another one that's dead. That's tragic. Hey, but now we reached a new stage for the queen being fed. So our maximum population has gone up. Good. We need ants to replace the sentries I just moved over. And the iron block collection is working very very good as well. Look at this little guy just using his entire face to carry that thing. Okay, now we have a few small workers in queue here, so they can all go towards this. The more iron scrap we're collecting, the better. And my goodness, there's a lot of them. I can barely keep up with it all. And this one has to wait 
for that smelter to finish before moving on. So we don't need more ants on that track. But that's the last iron block to complete this objective. Very good. And now we can build a workshop. We'll set that up behind the smelter here just to keep everything kind of separated. And now we can use those iron blocks to make better things like screws or iron plates. So let's get a dispenser set up over here and just mimic what we have going on for the smelter here. Oh, we have a divider path. Not sure what to do with that yet. But we'll do the hauling over here and then here. And then we'll get one of these small worker guys going on that path and that workshop goes to work right away on the iron block there that's looking really good but it takes a while to create a screw thankfully we have one now but now we we'll need to figure out what to do to get an iron plate stockpile in here we can just set this up right here for now because we can move it for free when we need it we also have a lot of small workers over here i don't even know what to do with all of you oh probably one of you to feed the queen that's probably a good idea or two of you to feed the queen because the more we feed the queen the more she's gonna need to be fed to keep up and speaking of keeping up i can barely keep up with all these ants are just collecting scrap iron way too good but the collection point also needs to move there now we oh oh no i was gonna say we didn't need any more screws but this little guy can't make any more anyway well that works for me because we need to change this recipe to iron plates and then get one of you going right away probably the newest one if i can figure this out all of you need to get a move on we're making way too many small ants right now i can't even use them all before they all just you know give up like these ones do all right fine all of you go to feed the queen because if we're making this many we might as well just increase our population cap we also need new workers collecting this stuff okay three collectors here feeding the queen might be a bit much so you go and collect scrap but we did reach a new population stage oh but it got reduced again because we're just right at the cusp of it but hey we finally have an iron plate that one took a while it also doesn't help that this little guy needs to just move them one at a time and make that entire loop but that should still do well for us look at all of these dead small workers here oh that is tragic i can't even use them for anything and the energy stockpile is still pretty weak i'll just use all of these guys to collect that if i can figure out how they go there we go they all go here and then they all go and collect we need to keep this queen fed there we go now we have two iron plates so we ooh, we can make a combiner that sounds like a good thing why don't we set that up right next to the incubator Get rid of this tall shrub, whatever it is. So we can take two of these small ants here. And then once they both walk into the thing and then get attacked by welders all day. Look at that. We made a worker, a regular worker. It looks like he has a lot more energy too. Good. So you can go and help on the scrap collection front. So there's less of these little guys just flipping over. This little guy just keeps going and going and then he's like, blink, just like that. Okay, now can we pass this point to go to that point? Probably not. We'll have to do this manually, but at least we have two incubators so we can just start a queue here while also remembering to clear out the regular worker and we have so much scrap iron here that is amazing and we have a lot of iron blocks too let's go ahead and use this opportunity to make a second workshop so one will be used to make screws and the other will be used to make iron plates and this iron plate stockpile will go over there just quickly repainting some paths here and this will also be a good opportunity to set up one of those dividing paths Though I probably need a better spot for this dispenser. Or maybe just a better layout for these workshops. Why not both? Hopefully this doesn't remove the resources that are in it. Okay, good, it doesn't. So the ants start here. And then they'll go through here, stop in there, and then go around. Okay, this one will have to go this way. To drop off the goods at this stockpile. And then return. But then a divider path needs to come in here. To also bring the blocks around this way half of the time. And then return here. That should work pretty good. Let's get a worker ant on that path and check it out. And I feel like these... Small guys really don't know what they're doing. I guess having a queue doesn't work that well. But now we have a second worker to figure out this path. And he didn't do the dividing properly. We probably just need to get them both going at the same time. So hopefully these guys should just alternate the path that they're on. Okay, he collects that. And then this one goes that way. And then he does that. And this one also went that way. Oh, I see how it's working. The divider is a few of them that need to happen. Right? Aha, there it goes. Now they're alternating. We just need to fix this path slightly because it looks like divider paths don't do the divvying like I want them to. But this should work a lot better. There he goes, there he goes, and he splits to the other path. Yes! Excellent. Now we have a pretty steady screw and play production. And it looks like we can also combine regular workers into an inventor. I like the sound of that. Just need to get two more worker ants. 
Oh, we also need to keep feeding the queen because we're losing population capacity. At least it gave these guys plenty of time to store nutrients. Look at all of this. 59 of them. That needs 10 more before it's a nice stockpile. There we go. So we take this worker, go into that pipe, and this worker goes into this pipe. And after, oh, it's a minute. Gross. And now we've run entirely out of small workers. Oh, dear. Maybe it's a good idea to have a sentry be the one that's actually feeding. Kind of makes sense. Sentries are the ones that are closest to the queen. There we go. Now she's being fed. Let's also just shorten this path as much as possible so the queen can be fed quicker. And now an inventor ant has popped out. Look at you. You got a big, like, staff on your back. Oh, and he has infinite energy. That's perfect. Aha, because he has his own pad. Cool. So he also gets fed. In that case, let's get you set up close to the queen. Over here, probably. Yeah. And there we go. It's perfectly built. So you need to walk over this way and take up your post. Look at this guy go. This is the weirdest looking ant I've ever seen. But hopefully he does good things like unlocking new technologies for us. So he just posts himself up right here. Beautiful. And now he needs to be fed. So now we need to figure out this feeding path again. So he starts here, and it can just go straight out this way. So one dividing path goes there, and another dividing path goes there, and then it all comes around again after feeding whoever is there. There we go. <laughs> he had to reorganize himself. It's like the ant from Bugs Life that gets lost. But look at that. He's alternating between feeding this inventor and the queen. Excellent. He probably needs help with that. Oh, there's also larvae there waiting to be born because we're at the second stage again. Here you... Uh-oh. You're about to perish. Okay, you stop making those things and go back to making these things once you're done dropping off that iron block. We need population again. Uh-oh, because this one just died as well. Oh, dear. But look at that. The more this inventor gets filled, the more that sack on his back fills up. Gross. There we go. But now we have more small workers being made so we can replace the workers that died. And this inventor is about to get the last little thing that he needs. So, ah, he did it. He gave us tech points. Oh, but then he expires? Well, that's too bad. But look at this, we have technology now. Ooh, so we can make radar tech to communicate with other colonies. Oh, we already have that. Cool, but that takes a lot of stuff. Well, we might as well get it somewhere where all can see it. Right back here. And, oh, do we have everything? Oh, we don't have everything. What are we missing? We need more plates and screws. Well, that's convenient because that's the workers that died. Well, we'll just go ahead and queue up a whole bunch of things so we can get all the workers going over here that we can. And you know what? Let's just send the small guys over there too because they could do a good job. And there's other stuff that we could make more inventor ants for, but that's only available in the full version. This is a demo, which is a pretty good demo too. I like the little production stuff we have going on right here. As long as we had ants actually doing that. Let's just uh, fix that really quick because we are now out of iron iron blocks to make these things. So these guys are just kind of wandering aimlessly, but looking really good while they do it. Oh, we also don't need this divider path anymore because we have no more inventors. And this queen is gonna need more energy to stay at that stage three to get more population out. There we go, that's being fed very nicely. We could probably take back one of the workers here just to keep this level steady. We don't need to get to stage four. We're not even gonna make that many ants, but now we need a worker going over here there we go, to start making some more iron blocks. Perfect. So now industry can get going again. And we'll actually get two of those going just because the demand is very high. There, now there's enough iron blocks being made so the rest can go to making screws and plates. Which, wow, that tower really put a dent in the food collection over here. We'll need some workers going over there now. And all these dead ants are still persisting. They haven't despawned at all. That's kind of morbid. Like, I know they're just little pieces of technology, but that's still pretty gruesome. I can't even use their bodies for anything. The good news, though, is that all this production is moving along very nicely, and the tower is missing just one more screw and four more plates. Ugh. You don't even need to collect scrap anymore. Go ahead and help your production, brothers. And it looks like the only reason that the iron block production isn't exactly negative is because all these guys are getting backed up weighing on their production. And now we need another worker feeding the queen before it drops down a level. I really wish there was a way to automate the small workers going straight into the incubator. Or not the incubator, the combiner. Either way, we could probably line up better just so I don't have to path as weirdly. And we'll just casually reorient you to go towards the iron plate production because we need more of those. And now they're all getting backed up right here. At least that means we have more iron blocks in reserve. There we go. That's working beautifully. Now we just need one more. 
And it's being made right here. Perfect. And oh no, he was about to carry it, but then he died. Oh, that's tragic. But thankfully his brother can pick up the slack. Go ahead and drop it in there. So it flies on over to the tower and it's complete. Look at that. Whoa. Okay, that's what that was. It was like a weird flower top. But now we can make contact. Go ahead and do it. Find other colonies. Oh, that's gonna take a while. Whoa, whoa what is this? What is all this? Uh, dragonflies? Where did all these come from? Is that a good thing? I don't know if that's a good thing. I should probably get more workers to keep up with this. Look at, whoa, look at how many there are. Is this a good thing? I have no idea if this is a good thing. That is, that is a lot of them. Hopefully they don't go and attack my queen or my workers. Okay, we made contact, so we complete that. Ah, oh, that's the end of the demo. What were all those bugs? There were so many of them. Hopefully they weren't hostile, but they probably were. That was a fun little demo though, and look at all the possibilities there is in the full version. Okay, all those bugs cleared out, so they must have just been attracted by the noise. But I hope you guys enjoyed the demo for Microtopia. Really fun seeing all the little microchip ants go to work. If you want to see more of this game when it comes out, be sure to let me know. Thank you for watching and sub to Intern. I'd also like to thank the channel members, including Bread, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Dakota C, Donomoto, Devion X, Lucas S, The Real Nickname, Hateful Herald, Peggy Sue, Drupalong, TJ, Seriously Sarcastic, Angel, Lily Bice, the Minor Within, DeGarity, Sands, Isaac, Hometown Medic, Miguel, and Drew.